Good morning and welcome to our first video on the introduction to criminal law. Today we'll be covering the concept of actus reus. Now actus reus is the first concept that you'll ever learn when you go into your first lesson for law and it's the concept that the actions of the accused, i.e. the one who's been charged with the crime, have to fit the crime. So it's, we're looking at the action of the crime or the action of the person who's accused of the crime. Now, the action must be voluntary, meaning that they must have chosen to do it themselves. And this must have caused some sort of damage or harm. Now, actus reus falls under four categories. Number one, conduct. Two, result. Three, state of affairs. And four, omission. So let's get into it. Now, the first one, conduct. The action itself is a criminal offence, for example, lying under oath, which is called perjury. Now, even if the lie is believed or not, and even if the lie had no effect on the outcome of the case, the actus reus of the crime of perjury is complete. And as a result here, regardless of what the outcome is, you are still liable Right, for a criminal offence because of the actus reus of perjury. Number two, it is not a criminal offence to throw something like a stone at someone. But if the result of the action of the actus reus is that it hits a person or it smashes a car window, it will amount to a criminal offence, regardless of whether you wanted to damage the property or not. Number three, state of affairs. For state of affairs, the crimes, the actus reus consists of being rather than doing. The first two are about doing an action. The third one is about being in the action. For example, now these are offences that criminalise a defendant being found in a particular circumstance, a particular time, irrelevant of how they got there. For example, in the case of R.V. Larsner, the defendant, a French woman, was deported against her will, meaning she was taken away from her hometown against her will from Ireland to England by the Irish authorities. And upon arriving into England, she is immediately charged with the offence of being an illegal alien, meaning someone who wasn't from England. Now, her conviction was upheld meaning she was convicted of this crime, right, of being an illegal alien, regardless of the fact that she didn't choose to be there, because of the fact that it was a state of affairs, meaning that she was being a illegal alien instead of doing. Second example, being drunk on a public highway. This is Duck versus Peacock. Now here, the defendant was charged with the offence of being drunk in, in charge of a vehicle. Meaning that, that person, Duck versus Peacock, that person was in charge of a vehicle and was drunk. At the time of the arrest, he was sleeping in his car, being drunk. And as a result, it didn't disqualify him from the fact that he was being in the state of being drunk on a public highway regardless of the fact that he wasn't driving. And the fourth one, omission. Omission is a person may incur criminal liability for failing to do which the law requires them. The word omission, it means to fail to do something. I omit something. I leave something out. Now, omission is many categories. Number one, contractual duty. You fail to complete a contract. Now, this is case-by-case case scenario, so you need to research whether you fall under omission if you have not completed a contractual duty. Number two, statutory duty. You fail to provide details of your insurance company after a car accident. And this is you versus the state. You neglect to inform the state, the government, the council about something. Three, duty imposed by the law. Here, you fail to correct a dangerous situation which you caused. And in the scenario, we have R versus Miller. The defendant, Miller, had been out drinking for the evening. 
He went back home to his house. He fell asleep on a mattress with a lighted cigarette in his hand. He awoke and he saw that the cigarette had started a small fire. Instead of going to take out the fire, he got up from his room and he went to another room to go sleep. As a result, he was liable for omission for the fact that he didn't remove this fire or get rid of this fire. And as a result, he was liable for omission. So that is the entirety of Actus Reis. Thank you so much for listening.